YT Dan is now streaming live on Twitch, but you can still catch the action on the YT Dan YouTube channel. By scrolling down, you can find all Twitch VODs located in one convenient playlist. And by clicking the playlist, you can subscribe directly to it to never ever miss a Twitch VOD. Today, we are going to talk about the Sign of the Harpies uh, mini box, or yeah, Sign of the Harpies mini box. And then we're also going to talk about the tier list that has happened to Duel Links, which is really interesting. As you can see, the tier list has been nuked and destroyed. So it's very interesting, like where we are right now in terms of like what we're looking forward to. We got this new tier list. We have this brand new archetype. Well, not archetype or revitalization of archetype. And we have freaking lightning vortex coming to the game. Lightning freaking vortex, man. But like really quick, I do want to kind of look at and address this tier list. This is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, looks like over the weekend, we lost Water Exceeds. We lost Cyber Dragon. We lost the Fire King. We lost all these decks. There are no tier two decks. And I know and understand that basically the reason why there's no tier two decks is because the other decks didn't qualify because they didn't hit the numbers or whatever. But it always just looks really weird to me to just see a big hole in the tier list. And they just like, here's like no tier two deck. Like Water Exceed, Cyber Dragon, and Fire King cannot be tier two. No, they cannot be fucking tier two. And they cannot be fucking tier three. <laughs> They're tier ass. And we don't need anybody in tier two. And all the other decks are just kind of sitting around like, feeling bad about themselves because they're not tier one or three <laughs> they're not good enough to be the best and they're not bad enough to be the worst you know what i'm saying <laughs> they know names anyway what i'm saying is this is pretty disgusting because this is the first time in a long time where we had a, a like a just three decks just sitting at the top and we got blue eyes stick and chair dark lords and thunder dragons which is like Okay, for sure. Levianair Thunder Dragon is very strong. Levianair, you already know how good Levianair is. I mean, yeah, it's no questioning why this deck is on the tier list. If there, if if the tier list ha was missing anything and it didn't have a deck with Levianair in it, it would make me kind of look like, hmm, because Levianair really is clapping right now. And then we got Blue Eyes, of course, number one deck, Karma Cut. You know, I mean, what's gonna be funny is as you're looking at this deck, when Lightning Vortex comes out, people are gonna run two Lightning Vortex. They're gonna drop the uh, Ancient Rules and they're gonna drop the Regeki Break and run the two Vortex, or they're gonna run one Vortex with one Melody and keep the Regeki Break and run three Karma Cut or whatever. But basically, they can easily put in a Lightning Vortex in here like no no cost will not hurt them at all does not phase the deck only makes it even more powerful so that's gonna be even more disgusting blue eyes is gonna still keep going and star sheriffs dark lords sticking chairs absolutely disgusting it's hard to believe that this deck is back but it is destiny draws a powerful skill wall of d Oh, Wall of D and triple two mirror forces. So you basically are running like three back row attack hazards uh, on top of two Book of Moons on top of effect negation. And if you have and then on top of like hand manipulation as well. So this deck is pretty disgusting. Can really get the pluses going with stick and chairs. Oh. Oh, I can see why there's no uh, no meta in the middle. So basically, it's sticking chairs versus blue eyes fighting it out for the seat at the top. And uh, basically, Thunder Dragons just seeing if they can, you know, get a, get a sniff at the meal that's on the table, my boy. So I don't know. It's, it's been a pretty interesting little lineup in terms of like the meta and the tier list. I really can't take my mind off of Lightning Vortex. This card is just so... It's so powerful, but my question almost is kind of why? Because why even more support for face-up monster destruction 
when we are in desperate need of back row removal and destruction. MST is fine, don't get me wrong, but when you gotta deal with Treacherous Trap, Floodgate, Kanadia, fucking uh, Book of Moon, Enemy Controller, head judging sometimes still, <laughs> and a myriad of other traps, you know, why, why again, Lightning Vortex? And, and you can even make that argument, I guess, Sure, Lightning Vortex, because you got all those traps to protect you, but I'm just kind of like, I just feel like you just don't need this, because number one, Blue Eyes White Dragon, as people are saying right there in the chat, Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes, Karma Cut. Like, you know what I'm saying? Blue Eyes White Dragon, all down, well, there's only one guy down here. He just says, Blue Eyes Slayer. This is not a Blue Eyes Slayer. This is a Blue Eyes Salvation right here. This is a Blue Eyes Plus Dragon right here. Lightning Vortex, put the stone in the grave, summon the free blue eyes, clear my board, clap my cheeks. You know what I'm saying? Literally, Lightning Vortex can kill three monsters and banish one back row. That's how powerful Lightning Vortex is in the Blue Eyes White Dragon deck. So, I kind of don't even care about this whole box because the whole box pales in comparison to Lightning Vortex, truthfully. That's just kind of how I feel about it. But yeah, Lightning Vortex, wiping my board and banishing my back row, like two clapping everything, is, that's that's absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Um, so here's another card that's probably gonna break the game right here. Uh, this card is really interesting because, you know, this, this, this card definitely, could have uh, stopped the cock of this meta. This card could have stopped um, uh, the Shiranui. Could have stopped uh, Six Samurai. I mean, Exodia, uh, Cyberstein, uh, and it and it actually negates the effect of MST to negate motherfucking Fog King right here. You can tribute one monster or no monsters to normal summon this card to lose the duel. So that's a pretty interesting card we got right there, my boy. Let's take a look at some of these other cards in here, especially the new Harfy Ladies. Everybody's like Harfy Ladies is gonna be spicy. It's gonna be the new best deck. I don't know. Let's take a look. Let's read some Harfy Ladies, my boy, and see what's up. Yeah, generic level eight that can bounce as a quick effect, like in response to something. Yeah, it's kind of spicy. Yeah, it's kind of spicy. I wonder. Like, I don't know how effective it's gonna be in, against the meta, but it is kind of spicy. The Blade Armor Ninja, I think he just attacks twice or something. Yes, yeah, so you can detach one of Exceeds material and target a ninja monster. Um, it, you can make this car attack twice during the battle phase. I think there's another monster that lets a ninja attack directly. So maybe there's an OTK combo with Blade Armor Ninja and that card, but uh, I, I don't know. Do we really need another level four monster that can attack twice? This is that. This is what I'm talking about, Konami. Like, like why? Like, do we really don't need? Okay, we don't need another level four that can attack twice, and we don't need any more monster destruction at all. We don't. We need something to get rid of the back row, free and clear. We need to get rid of the back row and not not worry about it because. What we need is something that can destroy more than one back row. That's what we really need. Something that can pop more than one back row. If we get Heavy Storm Duster, it's pretty good. It says, target up to two spell or trap cards on the field, destroy them. You cannot conduct a battle phase the turn you activate this card. Fair. 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 Put it in dual links. Make it fair. You know, even, even that would be uh, acceptable choices because, good lord, we do not need another monster that can attack freaking twice or another card that blows up face-up monsters. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. It's, I don't know. I'm very irritated. Harpy's Feather Duster, that's also pretty good, but I doubt that they give us something like Harpy's Feather Duster that can wipe three. But, I mean, it is kind of funny to see people play uh, straight flush. <laughs> But honestly, as I look through this box, my top thing out of this box, honestly, is the Lightning Vortex, of course, the Cyber Harpy Lady, and the Mecha Phantom Beast uh, Draco Sack. You know, there's a lot of other interesting cards through here, but I guess those are like the best cards 
to get out of this box. And but seriously though, Lightning Vortex is like the number one card. And if you don't get that, you kind of gonna be assed out like completely.